In order to be irreplaceable, one must be different. A quote from the one and only Coco Chanel. So that's what we're going to talk about today, guys. How can you be unique? Fragrances that make you stand out and be unique. So let's get into it. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Darian, and of course, I go by the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. And on this channel, we talk about looking good and smelling great, smelling amazing. So if that interests you and you love uh, looking good, smelling great each and every day, then this may be a channel which is content you will enjoy. So I invite you to click the subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit that bell icon as well. That way you get notified every time I release and upload new content to the channel. So yes, guys, as I said in the opening, I'm gonna talk about some fragrances in my collection that I feel will really make you stand out and be unique. I mean, after all, in a world full of so many different fragrances, there are so many, there are but so many fragrance notes that can be utilized to make a fragrance. So oftentimes you're gonna find that some of your favorite fragrances, there is another fragrance out there that may remind you of that fragrance. Since I've been collecting fragrances, I have smelled a lot of different fragrances, but not oftentimes something that's really, really unique. Uh, sometimes a fragrance can be so popular, of course, i.e. Creed Aventus, where there are so many uh, clones that are spawned from that fragrance, it kind of becomes a victim of its own success. So on today's list, I'm going to give you five very unique fragrances that I have in my collection that I've really yet to come across another fragrance that smells anything like these five fragrances. So if you want to know what those five fragrances are, you already know how we get down. Keep it locked right here. All right, guys, I am back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's go ahead and jump right into the list. The first fragrance that I want to talk about today comes from the House of Prada. And this fragrance is Prada Amber Pour On Intense. This one is in the black bottle. Now, I know you guys are probably used to seeing the other fragrance that preceded this, which is Prada Amber Pour On. And that's the fragrance that a lot of people refer to as one of the best clean, soapy fragrances on the planet. I've heard it described as smelling like an expensive bar of soap. And I can definitely agree with the reference. So very clean, uh, slightly spicy, soapy fragrance. So this, the fragrance that came out after that one, while it's, a, while it's a little bit fresh, it definitely goes in a totally different direction. And this fragrance is nothing about the, uh, the more, um, I guess, more clean elements like the original was. This is about dark, resinous, intense notes. Uh, you have a very, very resinous quality that comes from this fragrance from the use of myrrh. And you have some vanilla in this as well, some amber and patchouli. So this goes in a totally different direction. And with that combined slightly fresh and spicy nature, combined with the resinous quality of this, I have not smelled a fragrance that smells anything like this fragrance. Now, the only downside to this one is I think this one potentially could be discontinued if I'm not mistaken. But guys, if you can find it, get your hands on this. If you like a nice, dark, resinous scent, this is going to be one that I think you will really, really enjoy. Because again, as the name of this video indicates, I seriously have not smelled a fragrance anything like this before. Very unique and it's really, really good from the House of Prada. This is Prada Amber Pour On Intense. The next fragrance on the list today comes from the House of Creed, and this one is Creed Taperon Millicene. Now, this is a Creed fragrance that does not get many mentions at all on YouTube or any other platform for that matter. To me, it's kind of considered to be a somewhat of a stepchild of the whole Creed fragrance brand. This this fragrance features a, a very unique combination of notes, primarily ginger and tobacco. And in fashion to how Creed normally does fragrances, which of course you know they do fresh fragrances very well, this is no different. But for some people they didn't really get the whole ginger and tobacco combination. But I'm telling you right now guys, especially this time of year, fall, 
This is a great fragrance to wear. And again, you're gonna smell very unique. The combination of the ginger, the spices, and of course the tobacco undertone and backbone of this fragrance make this a very unique offering from Creed. And again, when I wanna smell unique and I wanna smell different, I know that nobody's gonna smell like this because like it, the first fragrance that I mentioned, I never run across anything that smells quite like tap room millicene. So guys, again, if you wanna smell unique, another recommendation that I would like to make from the House of Creed would be this one right here, which is Tabarone Millicene. The next fragrance on the list, guys, comes from the House of Tom Ford, and this one is called Black Orchid. Black Orchid, and this is the EDT. So whether you have the EDT, the EDP, or of course, the new Parfum, which is a little bit different from the uh, previous two that I mentioned, this is still a very unique scent DNA. Again, I've never come across a fragrance besides the flankers of this that smell anything like black orchid. You have, it opens up with some, I think it's dark truffle, yangalang. Uh, this has vanilla in it as well. Another fragrance that features the note of vanilla. Um, so just again, a very unique fragrance. And what's so unique about it is the way that you combine the florals with those darker elements in this scent. Again, guys, just a beautiful scent. Uh, now I do know other people that wear this scent, but it's very easily identifiable because nothing else smells like black orchid and that's what this list is about so if you do want to smell unique there's not any other fragrances in my um there's not any other fragrances that i'm knowledgeable of that smell anything like tom ford's black orchid all right guys and the next fragrance up on this list comes from the house of serge lutines and this one is called shadow gee shadow and to me I describe this as the fine wine of fragrances. This fragrance was released in the year 2005, and again, I've not come across anything in my fragrance journey that smells anything like Shergi. It is it's a very rich fragrance. I think some of the main notes here are hay. Uh, I think there is also um, tobacco leaf, honey. So a very unique combination and blend of notes in this fragrance. And again, it just smells so rich and uh, of high quality. I love this stuff again when it really gets cold outside. Uh, putting this fragrance on is just an absolute pleasure to wear. It's an experience every time I wear it. And again, the best thing about it is there is nothing out here on the market that I've smelled that smells anything like Shergi. So again, if you want a unique fragrance and the best thing about this one is you can get this at a very, very good price. And so it's not gonna break the bank, but again, if you wanna smell unique and stand out, this is another fragrance that I highly recommend from the house of Serge Latines. This is Shaggy. Last fragrance on this list, guys, if you wanna stand out and be unique, this is a fragrance I highly recommend from the house of Vaquilla, and this is called Vodka on the Rocks. Vodka on the Rocks, again, I have never smelled anything that smells like this, and I am so amazed at what Killian was able to do in this bottle. Wanted to give off the impression of, of course, vodka on the rocks as the name indicates. So as you pour vodka over the top of ice, kind of yeah. almost like, the, as Killian described it, cold steam that arises off of the, the rocks, or of course the ice when you pour vodka over the top of it. And somehow he was able to catch that vibe in a bottle and it's very, 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 very unique scent. Very unique scent DNA. He did that by using cooler spices, uh, cardamom, uh, coriander, and the use of aldehydes. Uh, guys, and it dries down. It's, it's a little bit of, of warm and creaminess that comes from sandalwood and oak moss. Beautiful scent. Again, I haven't smelled anything in my journey that smells anything like vodka on the rocks. Just a perfect, well-blended, awesome scent to wear to stand out and smell unique. Again, from the house of By Killian. If you never put your nose on this one, I highly recommend it. This one is called Vodka on the Rocks. All right, guys, that's it. That's my time. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video as I gave you guys five very unique fragrance recommendations to help you stand out from the crowd. I always appreciate your time and attention to these videos because, of course, I know you don't have to watch. You could have been doing anything else in the world, but it took a few moments to watch this video, and I don't take that lightly. I sincerely appreciate that. 
Now don't forget to take the time to like, comment, and subscribe. Share these videos out to folks that you think could use this information or find me entertaining because I am your guy, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time guys, keep looking good, keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.